Today we're looking at the PlayStation 5 Pro and installing a MVME or, well, additional storage internally to your PlayStation 5 Pro console, which is a lot easier than it was to the base PlayStation 5, which I did a video of many years ago. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribing is great as well, and a big shout out to Seagate for sending over the Fire Cuda 530R. Two terabytes, it comes in multiple different terabyte sizes depending on which version you want, how much space you need. And uh, yeah, just again, a big thanks to Seagate because they're the only ones that seem to actually support me in getting drives and stuff for my consoles. They've been great the whole generation, Xbox, PlayStation wise. Uh, let's dive in and let's get working on this thing. So the first thing to note is that you want the little PlayStation buttons kind of facing upwards over here. And then this is the part that you will be touching right here. It's very easy, as I mentioned. You also probably need a screwdriver, in case you didn't know that. And make sure that your environment is like static-free. You don't want a static environment because it might mess up electronics. And then, of course, a uh, MVME stick that's got a... Well, there's a lot of ones that are like ready for PlayStation 5. Most modern sticks should work, but they do want a heat sink on them. So that... Uh, well, for heat. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. So the top of it, you just kind of push up lightly, comes off, very easy. Then you have uh, your like your fan, and then right here is just the slot where your ME will go. Just put that aside. Uh, we're gonna take this, and then we're going to jump in and uh, start unscrewing it, which is really easy. So we're gonna dive into a closer up video for you guys to see that. All right, this will give us the perfect angle. We're just going to unscrew nice and easy the screw here that is holding the well basically where the mvme goes uh, just keep in mind to be careful not to strip your screws that'll make it very hard to get stuff out and then you know it's it's actually like a pretty lengthy screw we're just going to set that aside and then we're going to lift this piece of metal gently and it should come out pretty easily and you'll see we have an existing uh, fire cuda in there and this is also where you'll have to unscrew un unscrew unscrew the secondary one so they've got what is basically a holder for your mvme so that is what we had screwed in last time so we've got another screw right here and there'll be like a little bit of a holder in there as well so we're just going to take out the existing mvme which was one terabyte and quite a bit of an older version of this and you'll see they just got a little holder here and there's a bunch of different screw levels there so those are the different areas that you'll kind of plug in your mvmes to this is the perfect length for these specific ones and then it's easy as taking the new stick and you'll see that there's like well just this little little area where you just kind of slide it into and then it's placed and then you just simply add the screw in at the top screwing it in so it is tight firm but not overly tight because you might want to take it out someday and replace it or upgrade it sliding the case back in the top just making sure that it does fit in there nicely and not awkwardly you just want to again just comfortably so that it's actually correctly put in it's nice and easy it's just like a little top case thing and then this much larger screw goes in the top here and then once again firm but not overly tight because you might want to take this out someday very very easy almost there there we go firm but not overly tight and then we'll take our top little plate thing and you'll see that it just kind of fits nicely in you may have to like snap it in a little bit but you kind of want to make sure that there's like these fins here that kind of match up and that will make it a lot easier for you to actually like sort of like lock it in there and then you just kind of close it and bam should be like a little bit of a snap and there you go so hopefully you found this uh helpful for showcasing the ps5 pro at getting a little bit of extra storage the fire cuda obviously great model great option and just make sure it's something that works with the ps5 uh consoles and you're good to go and then we're going to show off the steps on the playstation 5 console so that you can see how it's like to install it and have that extra storage available on your actual console. Let's dive in. Upon turning on your PlayStation 5 Pro with the MVME, which is the M2 SSD storage, you'll be greeted with this screen. You need to format it. You can choose not to format it or to format it so that it can be used. Keep in mind that anything on the device will be wiped in this process. 
So try to use something that doesn't have any of your existing data on it. Here you can have your read speed as soon as you see that will be available as soon as you start rolling. Uh, we've got 65, 33 megabits a second, which is great. And uh, yeah, that's just mostly so that the PlayStation 5 knows that your drive is fast enough and that you know how fast your actual drive is. So it's been formatted. So now it is uh, ready to go. And at any point, if I want to uh, remove it, I'm going to just turn it off the PlayStation 5, remove it from the console, and we're rolling. So let's just quickly show off how that impacts the storage of the console. So we're able to go to settings, storage, and you can see that we have a full two terabytes. Awesome, right? That's a lot of space we have available for games, which is what it's all about. So yeah, I hopefully helped you out here in regards to uh, adding some more storage to your PlayStation 5 Pro. Happy gaming, uh, download a lot of games, have a lot of games stored so you don't have to keep uh, installing them unless you have great speeds, but yeah. And again, on your way out, be sure to like the video and subscribe is great as well, and there'll be plenty of great PlayStation 5 Pro content on the channel. And a big appreciation to Seagate. They are always bailing me out and giving me storage for my consoles, which I highly appreciate and I always highly recommend. Their specific products because they're incredibly reliable. All of my drives are Seagate, all of them.